I bought a hundred year old fishing rod and I bought a modern fishing rod and now I'm going to put them head to head to see which one can catch the biggest fish. And in order to do so, I challenged Kickin' Their Bass TV to a one versus one bass fishing tournament and the rules are as follows. Rule number one, I can only use a hundred year old fishing rod. Rule number two, Kickin' Their Bass TV can only use a modern fishing rod. And rule number three, the person who catches the biggest fish wins the tournament. Now that you know the rules, let's hop into this thing and let's see which rod can catch the biggest fish. So here we go. We have the 100 year old fishing combo versus the brand new state of the art kick in their bass TV combo. And this is gonna be Noah's rod Thank for the day. Sir. We're gonna put two hours on the clock and whoever catches the biggest fish in those two hours is gonna be crowned the champ and will be the winner of today's challenge. But to get started, I think we should just have a straight up casting competition before we put any time on the clock okay. here. And let's just see how far we can cast our respective rods. So just a fun fact for you guys, this combo is made out of metal. Like this is a straight up metal fishing rod. There is no graphite or glass or anything like that, just straight metal and porcelain. Same thing with my reel, this thing weighs like twice as much as that thing does. It's crazy because it's like half the size <laughs> yeah, too. If not more. But we're gonna see how this thing casts. There isn't any kind of drag or anything like that. I think as far as drag goes, you kind of just have the thumb to spool to fight a fish with drag or something like that. Let's see how far we cast this thing. Oh, pretty good. pretty good. I got a backlash there. Probably gonna have to tighten that spool up, but that wasn't too bad. Let's see, let's see what you got. Give me a, give me a hard fling. With the KTB TV combo. And that's with a pretty light yeah. Texas rig. I mean, that's. Yeah. Considering the lure differences, <laughs> that would probably get had like an extra, you know, 30 to 50 yards on that if he had the lure I had on, which is a, a lipless crankbait, which casts farther than like everything. I'm gonna get this thing cranked in and we're gonna put two hours on the clock and get started. We got two hours, Noah. Yes, sir. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Let's get it. Time to dial in. We're going with different techniques here. I don't think I can throw a crawl because this is like an ultra light rod, even though it's made out of straight metal. This thing is super flimsy. You so. have no backbone. So I'm just gonna go for the, the treble bait or uh, the treble hook baits as of right now. So I think this lip list should do me pretty well. Just gonna have to kind of get in a groove with this thing. Boys, I'm throwing a rage crawl. So it's just a standard striking rage crawl, obviously paired up. Kicking the bass combo. Fletcher did say I can give a shameless plug. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys want to check them out on my website, kickingthebass.com. I'm sure my boy has put the link down below. But I, I, I don't know. I, I know this is a tournament challenge that I'm more than likely going to win. But if Fletcher won it, I would love to see it because I want to see a freaking five pounder on that rod. <laughs> that would yeah. just be insane. I feel like if I catch one that's like four plus on this thing, it's going to feel just crazy. Yeah. with this like weird setup like the rod it just feels so weird i'm just not used to fishing with a metal rod but it's casting pretty well i'm like as of right now i'm pretty impressed with how well this casts i feel like especially if you know use this every day all day you could get pretty good with it dude oh that was God, a mega that was hey they're chasing bait yes, he's literally chasing, chasing bait. bait all right all right look at the bird going down okay guys we're about to get into some action hopefully we just saw a huge bass, probably like four or five pounds, just come up and destroy some bait. We got birds all over the place out here, like all in the trees and the water. So let's get over here and see if there's any bass that want to crush this thing. Have you ever been injured and wanted to sue but were worried about paying for a lawyer? If you answered yes to that question, then worry no more because law firms like Morgan & Morgan have your back. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices and 800 lawyers in 49 different states. With Morgan & Morgan, everything is free of charge unless they win your case. We're talking no upfront money, no sign-up fees, and no hidden cost. All of the paperwork, research, expert witnesses, negotiations, court hearings are all free unless they win. And if they don't win your case, you pay nothing. And now I know what some of you are thinking, and that's even if there are no financial risks, I just feel bad for suing somebody. But I wanna make it clear that you shouldn't feel bad because you're not suing the individual, you're suing their insurance company that has billions of dollars 
just for this reason. There's no reason to feel bad for getting the compensation that you deserve. Morgan & Morgan has attorneys that focus on every area of personal injury law. Car accidents, slip and falls, workplace injuries, medical malpractice, nursing home abuse, and much more. So if you or a loved one is ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash FTF or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. It's kind of up here near where that fish jumped. There's a bunch of underwater structure right here. That isn't exactly where the fish was, but he was probably like pertaining to the edge of it. Like maybe some bait came by and came flying out of the edge of the structure. Oh, let's go. We're striking first, baby. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. Oh, my gosh. oh, on the lipless, on the lipless. Oh, this dude, this feels so weird because it has back reel on it. Like, there's nothing stopping the reel from going backwards. So I'm trying to like just reel backwards to give him, give him some slack. But there we go. We are on the board, man. We are on the freaking board. Let's freaking go. Thank you for the munch there, bud. I'm hoping we can do better than you, but that is a great start. Probably like a two pounder or so. <laughs> maybe that uh, slow gear issue is gonna work in your favor hey, today. Maybe, maybe they knew what they were doing back then, back in the old days. Isn't like the world record from this time period, like the, like the twenties or the thirties or something oh, like that? No. It's pretty old. I think it's like it's at least eighty years old. I was hoping I was gonna double up with you. I got in that that brush pile down there. Did you feel anything? Yeah, no, I'm feeling the brush pile. I'm in it right now. I got that out and for the sake of this competition i am going to weigh this one because we're going for the biggest fish i don't think this one's going to do it but just in case noah sucks today and catches nothing we need to have an official weight on this bad boy 1.7 we're going to get you back in she's bleeding a little bit so we want you to swim off nice and well let's get back to it i would have <laughs> never expected you to caught one like dang near on your first cast i know we're like literally five or six casts into this competition and we already got one dude i am hearing fish they're out dude they're active they're munching today i might need to switch up from this crawl i don't know oh boy we got a backlash doesn't look too bad though let's let that bait get down to the bottom of the water column that's all we're doing here my goal is just to spend more time actually fishing versus picking out backlashes today. That's that's the main goal. Secondary goal is to actually catch fish. Third goal and objective is to beat Noah. That's one of our favorite things to do on the channel. Hasn't happened a whole lot recently, but we like to do it. <laughs> Dude, these are the miniest little handles. <laughs> like, this is like some little finesse Japanese type type of vibe. You're just salty, man. I haven't caught one yet. I'm patiently waiting. He's gonna go. Can I get that one more time, dude? <laughs> I don't think I've met anyone quite like Noah who can imitate bass noises as well. That's how he calls in the big ones, guys. He's he Noah actually is fluid in in bass. In bassanese. Bassanese. <laughs> All right, dude. I might have to go with the moving bait. You think? You making making the change? If I put the same bait on? You really don't want to use the two tap. It's a terrible lure, man. It's really not good. I, I would advise not using it. Like if your plans to to catch fish, you probably shouldn't use it. I do have to go with the gold red eye shad. Hey, that'll make it the most fair comparison if we're using the same lure. Make sure the hooks are straight on that one. It might be all funky. See what he's trying to do to me? Y'all see it? He straightened my hooks out. Pinched all the barbs, straightened them out. On a real note, dude, I think we're about to get into some something crazy up in here. Give it to Fletcher to use the uh, longest pliers ever known to man. <laughs> hey, those are my dad's. Dude, those are gullet pliers, man. That's that's where when they suck it down deep. That's what you need. Now I can whip it. There's that modern advantage. The mile cast. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be getting that distance today, but. We can try, we can try. I'm starting to get a feel for this reel now, and I'm, I'm actually liking the way this thing casts. It's casting a lot better than I was expecting. Like I was not expecting to get that kind of distance. I'm curious as to like what level of quality reel this was back then. Like was this like, 
Was this like a super high end one? Oh baby, let's go. We're on it. We're on it. We are on them. That was getting crushed right now, dude. Hey man, that thing's only a pounder. Hey, that's okay. It's only a schlounder. That's pounder. okay. Oh, thanks. All right, quick release, quick release. That's what we wanted, because that one definitely would have not been bigger than the last one I caught. But even if it's small, it weighs more than what Noah has right now, which is. Zero. Hey man, I'm about to catch a four pounder pounder right here. You, ready? you think so? This this calf, matter of fact, he's gonna go. Yep. He's going to... <laughs> Dude, you're a strange bird, man. <laughs> Listen, you're a, strange, you're a strange cat. I think you can judge an animal's weirdness off of, like, the type of owner that would own that animal. Like, dogs? Everyone's got dogs. Yeah. You know, dogs are cool. But freaking bird owners, man? <laughs> those are some strange birds. Like... Uh, we're going to lose 100 subscribers this video. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if you own a bird. Oh, <laughs> dude, the timing! <laughs> mom, come on, mom, come on, Patty. I'm literally telling her earlier I lost this tournament because he called me. He called you. I'm blaming it all on her. How big was that fish? Three pounder. <laughs> it was actually a dang good one. Yeah, I was like, it sounded like a good one. I didn't see it. Like when he ate it, I just was like, eh, it's a little something but then i saw his mouth i'm like dang it i had a bite this whole dang time i have a bite when someone's calling my phone i just wanted to mute it i wasn't even gonna answer it I had the winning fish i don't know about that dog i don't know about that because i'm catching a 10 pounder on this before the day's over it's cute if you don't believe me but just wait just wait my boy oh got one dude like that's a big and two fletch Oh, she got some I don't know. She might be hooked on the side or something, but I don't know, Fledgy. Uh oh. I'm casting him behind you, just in case there's one no, falling. It. I got him in the mouth. You weird. One seven. Oh no. Nah. No sir. We're still holding on to the lead for now, guys. But guess what? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, Fletcher. You don't even want to look up. Be careful. Be careful. I got your line. Oh, oh. you got your line around me? Oh, Lord. Or you you got your line around me, Fletch. No, no, dude. My line was just chilling there, and you just Listen, brought your fish in. You got line in my fish. <laughs> okay? You got fish in my line, bro. <laughs> well, he felt good. I'm on board, though. That's all I need to do. You're on board. I just, I just needed, needed to feel something go a little tuck, tuck. And then I keep making them go tug, 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 too. And that's a bit. Oh, that's a better one. Oh. That, that one's worth weighing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh oh, we on them. We uh oh, but is it worth on. weighing? Dude, look at them choking. Yeah, that one's, that one's competitive. Choke. That one's competitive. That might be like the same dang weight as yours. All right, where's them gullet? Gullet needles. Gullet needles. See, that's what they're for, man. He does have a point. He does have a point. Should we flop him on the scale? I think it's worth a worth a quick wait. Let's see. What do we got going, Fletch? What do you think? I think a pound and a half. Oh, Maybe she might be. I, th I think I was 1.7. This probably 2.38, boy. Oh, okay. He's a thick body. Thicker than she looks. Thicker than a snicker, dude. Yeah, that's a thick boy. 2.38's a lead, Fletch. Let's keep it going. We got some on board just because I lost that three yonder. I wasn't even gonna weigh that fish. So thank you, Fletcher, for giving the lead there. I appreciate That one's not gonna be, you know, a tournament winner by the end of the day. I promise you that. I'm getting ambitious with my casting over here. Keep backlashing. Like over the last like five or six casts. I backlash at least half of them trying to get that extra distance. I see Noah just bombing that thing from across the lake and I'm just struggling to get you know, two thirds the distance. We're gonna make a move across the lake, guys, over here to where all these birds are chilling. There's a big stack of Looney Tunes sitting in the water, eating bait, and there's a bunch of birds in the trees as well. So we feel like that might be the move. That's where them 10 yonder pounders are. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. All right, troll, troll stuff. Yeah, let's do a little trolling while we go over here. Take a, take a fling out. Wonder how many people have lied to this fishing rod. 
none. <laughs> oh! You get smoked? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm talking like a, like a freaking freight train hit me. Big old swamp. The only thing I could do is to sound freaking weird on camera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Oh, there we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on the troll. Hey, hey buddy. Can I double up? Oh. Big one? Not a giant. Not a giant. I don't think this one's gonna, gonna call either. But we're gonna see. Nah, nah, that ain't, that ain't gonna do, guys. We're gonna have to do better than that. You have caught three fish on that thing. I know. I got numbers. If we were, very if we were doing a, a five fish bag, I'd be looking decent right now are you on dude Golly. what is up with these all right thank you for coming off you actually you blessed me one? dude he was he's smaller than that one you just got dude the fish are biting today yeah. bro i like it one 10 pounder just load up on me man just give me a little give me a little right. give me a little chokey chokey i had a chokey not seeing much out here to be honest they might have just been chilling i'd say that point bro might be titties yeah I threw one cast out there and got that i mean we should try that and then the cut how about that for a shoulder cast oh we're on we're on we're on hey, bro. we are on i was picking out a backlash oh, yep yep go around me go around me go around me is it a big one <laughs> yeah Feels like a good one too. This one feels like the best one so far. I mean, she is tugging out there to the side. I don't, I, woo, woo. She's, she is, she ain't happy, dude. This might be a good one. Oh, okay. Oh, she spit it. Ah. Hey, hey, she ain't big enough. I think that one. Was, she think, ain't big enough. I think that was bigger than two, three. She wasn't, she wasn't a giant, but. I think it was a one, five. Nah, don't let them fool you guys nah that was easily easily a two five it's hard to tell how big they feel on this thing because it's so heavy you're gonna know when you got a four pounder on that thing so i hope you don't or maybe i hope you do hey. i kind of want to see it man you're making the wrong cast but you need to be right up there you ready for this five pounder you ready what i'm out of snack i'm out of snack i'm surprised you've caught as many as you've caught here we go, baby. You on? I'm on. Are you on? No, I'm snagged. Bro, where are the big ones at, man? That's what I'm saying, dude. Hey, it's just a matter of time. We get on the right ones, I'm uh, telling you. For reference, guys, Noah caught two four-pounders <laughs> while we were setting up for this video. Literally, like, you were playing around with your reel, and I just happened to cast out, like, two casts in a row. I catch two fours. Like, like straight tanks. Great and we've caught nothing but two <laughs> pound to two pounders. Quick time check. We got an hour and 16 minutes left. So plenty of time left to, to make something happen. I haven't seen any bait, not a lick of it. I'm gonna be picking out this backlash for a minute. What in the world, dude? I think that's a cutter, unfortunately. Good thing we got plenty of line. Yeah, I probably spent a, a solid 30 minutes of the time that we've had picking out backlashes. Yep. Gosh, dang it, boy. Feel like a good one, finally? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this uh, is it. That's it? This is the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. No, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. That is a good fish. She might be in the three-pound club. Well. I'm going to wear because this is definitely the biggest. All it took was coming to a new spot. Oh, ho, ho, baby. 287. Okay, okay. Taking the lead. Or I've had the lead, but I took took the lead of the last Take fish. 287. That's a nice fish. But I still think we can do better. I'm not even asking for, you know, a 10. Just a four, man. Just a four. Actually, just a, a two nine, <laughs> just just, big, just bigger than Noah's. That's all we need. One step at a time. Got every bit of, of me wants to just cast this as hard as I can, because that's what I'm used to doing, throwing moving baits. But I cannot do it with this spool, and I keep having to like remind myself that because that's why I keep backlashing because I try to overcast it. I see the bite. Is that it right there? I think so, right? Right there. Right. Here, this is the cast. This is the cast. 
but a backlash, so no, it's probably gonna crank through there first. I agree. I agree, we should go over there. Oh, you got one? Oh, you son dog. of a gun. I'm a dirty dog. Oh! Oh, I got one. I got one. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you do yes, not. Yes, I do. Stay down. Stay down. He had some size. Mine's about a two. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Let's not spit this. No way you got a 2.8. Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's not 2.8. It's a little 2 pounder. Eh? Chunky. That'd be a chunky monkey. She's chunky. I think that's my best one. Dude, that thing is fat. But she ain't 2.8. I'm a weigher. She might be sneaky. She could be a sneaky 2.8. You never know. 1.81. That's my biggest yet. Okay, let's put her back. That is an upgrade. Not enough. Not enough. We just need one quality bite, guys. Just one will be great. Dang it, dude. Dang. <laughs> He's an acro. Dude, I think he's gonna find me out of the water. Yeah. You just, I, I needed to get over your line and he just helped me with that. Like so easy. That fish literally just jumped five or six feet out of the water. That was crazy. He looks like a small mouth. He is colored. It kind of does. Yeah, that was. Things got a little bit in him. I mean, that was wild. Especially with how the fishing has it. Oh, oh, right there. Is that a giant bluegill? Oh my gosh. Dude. Holy cow. Holy <laughs> good gracious. <laughs> what? That is the biggest bluegill. Oh, that, that's something else, bro. That is a freak. Oh my gosh, well I won the, the bluegill tournament. <laughs> Holy cow, dude, we need a bluegill fish out here, like actual. I know, that is a dude, dinner that, plate. That is like probably the top three bluegill I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean that thing is just built different. The one you caught was thick, man. That fit, that thing was dude. I think mine was thicker, but that one might have just been longer. Dude, that's crazy. I can't even believe bluegill that can get that big. Like how is there not like a bunch of 12 counters in here with them size? I mean they can't even eat that. Let's go ahead and get this back in the water, guys. And if y'all have been enjoying the videos and been liking what you're seeing, been enjoying the competition between me and Noah, make sure y'all go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. It'd be much appreciated. It really does go a long way for me, and I know it does as well for Noah. If you're watching his channel, his will be linked down below as well. But if you just take two seconds, literally like 70, 80% of y'all are watching like every video and aren't subscribed so you might as well take the two seconds that it takes to do that but let's keep on cranking see if we can't find another fish and hopefully find us a giant kind of getting a little chilly i know it's cold my nipples are getting hard <laughs> that, that would be like the moment that you hook set like a, yeah. a straight like, like you put the bass drop like right after that Right there somewhere, either on the right or the left. There's gotta be one on this rocket wall. And he's right here. He's just right here. You got one? He's running at me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big one. Oh, that's a chunk. That's I don't a chunk. Know. I don't know. That. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that Ooh. one's that one's girthy. That one's got some girth. I don't know. She ain't a two eight seven. She's a nice one. She's a good two pounder, but she ain't too eight so. Uh, well, there goes the timer, guys. I tried my best. I came out with the early lead, and as usual, he came back and beat me. But I think we got what we what we came for for the most part outside of the ten pounders.